for for me, some of the some of the key things that that I learned uh, in in this and and kind of going going to what what you just said is is one thing is is that um, getting these companies to work together. That the first thing is to understand okay, so how does the concrete exchange of money happen? But one of the core things is how do these companies build trust together on their common operation? Because they, they are separate companies, but, yeah. but in order to work together, trust is really important. Yeah. I, I think what, what sets EU apart in these things is this possibility of building trust and that the structure that we have around uh, in EU right. allows you to, to build these trust-based relationships where you can say, that, okay, if you s- tell me that you will give me money, mm-hmm. I will trust you, mm-hmm. that, that we can work together. And, and this, this makes things unique. Yeah. And I can say a few words about that. I think it's important, of course, to have the trust framework. Mm-hmm. You know, that could be a technical model. You know, like rule books approach. You know, you sure. say what you're going to use the data for, and you use the data for what you say it's going to be used. Mm-hmm. All those needs to be there in place to build this trust, mm-hmm. and rightly so. Um, but what we also learned is that during this course of this project, is actually what uh, what is the underlying driver behind is actually around building data ecosystem. Mm building an ecosystem, building a network, building a, a, a partner community, right? Mm-hmm. So that trust comes from people to people. Mm. Of course, you need to back it up with all these technical sure. components, but at the end, it comes from people to people. And one of the unique insights that we get is that if you want to orchestrate a group of company, a group of people together, mm. you are trying to put a team of high performance people to work together. <laughs> so in order for that dynamic to work, you need to have understand what are the key drivers? Is it economic drivers? Is it you know the overall gain of the ecosystem, the mm-hmm. value they create is bigger, mm-hmm. or is it simply just for the you know developing new product and new market size? Sure. So there are different dynamics that is in play, and if we are not conscious and aware on all this dynamic, then mm-hmm. we are just leaving it by chance, and this is where the orchestration of Type, this type of network is very important. And these type of skills mm. are not readily available today in the company itself and mm-hmm. also outside the ecosystem because it's fairly new. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have been building traditional pipeline business model for you know, businesses for a long time, mm-hmm. but the platform or decentralized data economy is still fairly new. So mm-hmm. there are some skills that we still sort of like would like to develop more.